I have seen the future. How would I see into future realities? Well, if you know my work, if you know the work of Dolores Cannon, you will know that she developed a technique to tap into universal consciousness. It has all of the answers. In fact, it knows everything about everyone and cares for everybody. As I've been working with people specifically over the last couple of months, I've been getting a lot of information from people's higher awareness, from this source of all knowledge about future visions. So I have seen the future. I have seen the future of the earth in five, 10, 20, and 50 years time. And I'm gonna get into some of the specifics of the research that I have been doing, the things that I have been attesting to and seeing as I do regression work with people. I've had a number of clients see Earth in the future. And the Earth that they describe to me is something like Star Trek or the Jetsons, where we see these advanced civilizations, very different from the civilization that you're hearing this message in today, juristic cities. Now, a lot of people get caught up in negative ideas about the future, some negative things that get spread online. That is not what I have seen. And certainly the new earth that Dolores Cannon spoke about, I'm seeing through all of my clients through hypnosis, them uh, talk about this really wonderful uh, reality that we're moving into. So what does it look like? One of the things that is so prominent, and I love this universal knowledge that communicates because it always has the same thing to say from different people, always has the same voice is that nature and technology would be in perfect balance and harmony. And we would have a deep respect in this new civilization and in this new earth and this new world for the environment. Who knows that's needed. Another really interesting phenomena is this concept that I've heard from many clients about the vibrant new colors that will emerge almost like our dna is being upgraded and we'll be able to perceive into different realities or receive different frequencies that displays different colors so it's this presence of new colors in the sky that people are seeing now i've had a lot of clients describe what they see as some kind of war coming i don't say that to scare you because I believe that as we are moving through these challenges, who knows that most of our growth happens through adversity, through challenge, we can view something like that as an opportunity for growth and to actually practice things like meditation coming together and actually changing timelines. You know, Dolores Cannon talked a lot about manipulating energy, and this is the time that we are living through now where you and I have an opportunity to learn how to manipulate energy. What does that mean? You probably heard it. To become a master manifester. You see, you're doing that anyway. You're creating your reality, good, bad, or indifferent. Most of people are leaving that to chance and they get all the unfavorable things show up in their experience. When you learn how to manipulate energy, you learn to consciously create by thought, intention, I call it intentionality, where you begin to consciously manifest a reality in which you want. Now, one wonderful way of doing this is the practice of meditation and even more importantly, collective meditation. Because when we come together in that oneness, and the, this is another uh, attribute of the New Earth reality, a unity consciousness, 
then we send out a vibrational frequency into this reality that we call 3D or Earth, and it makes changes. In fact, if you look at the work of Joe Dispenza, he has studied this phenomenon and seen it work and has the research to back it up so it's not just hearsay. You're so much more powerful than you've given yourself credit for, and yet, we are having this individual awakening, aren't we? We're waking up to the reality that we are conscious creators. We are master manifestors. But first, you've got to know what you want. You've got to know what you want to create. And so what you give your attention to is going to expand and solidify in your experience. And so that means for some of us, we're going to be living in different realities, even though we are going to be coexisting within the same world, but living in different frequencies of reality. You see, not everybody is going to make this shift over into the new earth. Some are going to stay with the old, stay with what they have created for themselves because we live in a free will universe and you have the choice. But we need to learn, if we want to make the shift, to be responsible and take responsibility for our creation. Now, I create intentionally. I'm, I'm starting to manifest all of the things that I've seen for, for many years. People that watch my videos know I've got a big vision for the future and creating community here all around the world. And an exciting thing that I have coming next year is a weekly gathering, a weekly gathering of music, of inspiration, of meditation, of connection, that we can all come together on a weekly basis and participate in. Now, not everyone's gonna make every week, but it will be available to everyone and for everyone. Obviously, no charge is involved in making that happen because that is the message that they gave me is to be proactive about starting to manifest what we call higher vibrational community, where we can come together. Someone might have a need, it might be a physical, uh, illness and we can work on them collectively because energy everything is energy and when it's manipulated not in the negative sense but in the positive sense is to mold and to shape and to create this is where miracles occur and funny enough that word I like to demystify the word miracles because I actually see it every day in my work all a miracle is, is a realization of what is real opposed to believing what is not. And when someone makes that connection for themselves, this is where what we perceive as miracles occur in one's physical body, in one's emotional life. You know, the mainstream calls it uh, instant uh, remissions. I know it's much more than that. They find it difficult to be able to quite understand what is going on there. We have a hopeful outlook. In fact, I use an affirmation every day and I encourage all of you to do the same, that the best is yet to come. This golden age we are at the precipice of. I learned as well that the pyramids in ancient Egypt were actually energy devices, energy conductors, and they were built by extraterrestrials, what we call extraterrestrials. Now, I don't tend to like using that word because I believe that we're all one, whether we are human being or an animal or from another dimension or reality, that we are all one, we're a part of the same family, and so we're when we're using that word extraterrestrial, we're almost creating separation. A part of this new consciousness is understanding that we are all one, unity consciousness. So I like to start to use language that's inclusive rather than exclusive. Of course, this universe is 
teeming with life. It always has. And so let's start to demystify some of these terminologies and accept the oneness that is pervasive through all of the cosmos that we are connected to. And now some of you have incarnated from different realities, from different star systems, from different dimensions. Some of you have come directly from the source to be a part of this pivotal shift, to be a part of this ascension event where this whole earth is shifting into an entirely different dimension.